I've actually known about the film for years now. Uh, knowing Melissa McMeekin, I've met Ben because of her, and I've been hearing about the movie for years. And I'm glad I finally saw it. Um, really liked it. The locations are great. The visuals are great. And I hope it gets distribution because I hope a lot more people see it. What did you think about the story? Were you weirded out by anything? Were no, I, see, I'm really into psychology, so the whole obsession and how you're upraising and you know growing up with a mom like that can really like torment you the rest of your life. I, I thought it was really well written, and I don't know, I just obsession's a very tricky thing to tackle, and I thought Ben did a really good job with it. I won't say how much it was, how much it cost, but I was shocked because the locations are amazing, the visuals and you know the post-production work's really great. I, I loved Melissa in it; she was fantastic. She really captures that stage mom trying to live through your kids, you know, type of mom. I, I can't think of what the little girl's name is, but she's fantastic. I don't know how Ben found her, but that she makes the entire movie to me you a lot of times kid actors can ruin a movie but she was fantastic well if someone's about to walk into the visionary i would say okay get ready to just kind of just turn your brain off a little bit to just feel in, instead of thinking just just absorb everything that's coming at you uh, visually and audibly um, and let that kind of start to trigger your, your thought process instead of trying to think about what's happening in front of you at first uh, and I think that the story will really unfold better that way um, because once I let myself just feel everything that was going on, it was really uh, quite a ride. Obviously I was disturbed by a lot of the things that were going on, um, but never too disturbed. Uh, I was never like, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, and um, sadness for Daniel, the main character, and um, a lot of intrigue. Uh, towards all of the girls uh, surrounding Daniel, from the little girl to Samantha and both of her ages, uh, to the mother. This film is seriously a trip, is probably the best way to put it. Um, you don't need any drugs or anything, like you'll really have a ride, it's an adventure. Uh, I think you'll really dig it if you're watching it. Um, all the performances are very genuine and it's hard to get something that's so well-rounded. I would explain this film as being about a very um, complex net of human characters and emotions. There's this one main character, the director, the film director, Daniel who is caught between the past and the present, you know, his past unrealized love and his present passion for his work that he does as a film director. There are many different characters involved in this story. There's um, Ava, the young girl, who is uh, sort of like the embodiment of this un unfulfilled love that this director had at one point in his life so it's it's very psychologically complex and deep um, it's definitely not for the faint of heart this is a very powerful piece and it's not to be taken lightly I think there's a lot of value in the artistic quality of this film the casting is superb the acting is excellent I thought that Melissa McMeekin's performance was awesome just natural, beautiful. The story was complex. It wasn't in any way one-sided or, or superficial. It was human. I mean, it was it was real. Um, there are a lot of moments that stand out for me in this film. There was one particular that really stood out to me, and I think it was the uh, the photographic quality of this scene, and it was just. I mean, it was very simple. It was when it, uh, the scene when the director, Daniel, was was sitting and contemplating the, the actress and, and he was smoking a cigarette and the, 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 um, the, the smoke of the cigarette was rising and, and Ben Prue had it filmed in such a way that it was his profile. It was very... I think what I like about this film is it's very artistic. There's a, a very beautiful cinematic quality to this work. I think that 
a lot of times we'll we'll, we'll see or think of independent films as, as maybe being a little lesser quality than perhaps a Hollywood film, but I think what's amazing about Ben Prue's production is that you would never know that it's anything less of a Hollywood feature. The quality is incredible. Uh, I would recommend this film to, to my friends for sure, especially any artists or actors who want to see the quality of, uh, of, a, of a real New England film director who's really making moves and really making a name for himself. I think that Ben Prue is one of the best independent film directors in New England and I, I think he represents some of the very best independent talent that we have here. Um, and I really look forward to seeing what he does next. I was really impressed with the um, amount of layers each character brought to the screen. Uh, everyone's history was sort of presented in a really, really um, nicely paced way. The visuals were stunning. It reminded me a lot of uh, Italian films that I, I love watching. Um, and I was really happy to see um, Ben's vision just come to life on the screen. He's been talking about this film forever. If you get a chance to catch Visionary, I totally recommend it. It's a great film, um, a real work of art. I was very pleasantly surprised by how good it was. Like, I was not expecting that. The production value, I'm on the camera side of stuff. Like, the production value was amazing. Um, the soundtrack was incredible. I'm very impressed, very surprised. I'm excited to see what he does next. Been familiar with the movie since he was filming it four years ago. Uh, I know a good portion of the cast, and I was just really kind of excited to get a chance to see it. For our first, you know, first film, I know what his budget was, and to, to be able to pull that off is, is great. And, you know, we, we talked a lot afterwards about growth and how you take your first film and where you go with it, and I'm getting ready to release my first film in a couple of weeks, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just great to see other filmmakers' first works and how they grow from it. And you know, overall, I thought the performances were really good. You know, it's always it's always great when you when you learn that you know, uh, several or a couple of members of the cast this is either their first movie or they're not even actors, and just to watch them so naturally on camera, uh, it's very surreal. Uh, it's it's disturbing and moving and touching, and um, it, it's a dream. It's a, it's very much a dream sequence. Um, it's very, all the, it's, it's a little juxtaposed, so it's, it's not linear, and, and yet it has, it definitely has a, a straight path. Does that make sense? <laughs> that sounds really artsy. <laughs> I, I really love the, the film inside the film stuff. I'm really kind of into artsy, kind of uh, elaborate Italian cinema style stuff, so it's, it's always neat to kind of watch that stuff and how other people interpret it and shoot it. It's original, it's, like I say, it's, um, it's touching, and at the same time, it, it, it's 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 creepy. It's it makes you really want to you really want to keep watching it because your your mind's telling you what's going to happen, and yet you you feel like you still don't know. Uh, it's it's very unique. It's, it has a nice it has a nice pacing, and uh, I don't want to use the word because it sounds negative, but it's, it has a choppiness to it that uh, really kind of keeps you keeps you in it. And it moves really fast. It has a real suspense thriller feel to it, and I also think that it addresses some very important issues, uh, such as drug abuse, that need to be addressed. So it, it's a very provocative film. You definitely won't um, not be thinking about a lot of stuff after this movie is over. Go see Visionary. Find it. See it. So I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed working with Ben. For me, tonight was very, very cool. I really enjoyed seeing, you know, how artistic the film was, and it was almost a little trippy in a way. It was very, very well done, um, and I'm really proud to have been a part of it. You know, I have to tell you, I went into the film tonight not really knowing what it was about either, um, so that's part of what was really cool about it, was finally seeing what the whole movie really was. So if I had to tell somebody, I guess I would say it has to do with the stage mom. There's a, the, a big aspect of the film is having a momager and basically this mom who has this daughter and all she wants is for her to be a star. I definitely think this movie is going to do great. I hope it goes to a lot of festivals and all it needs is a chance if it gets out there. I really think people are going to love it and they're going to respond really well to it. If you have an opportunity to catch Visionary, definitely go watch it. There's a lot of, lot of great actors in this film. I really 
really enjoyed being in it and all the other actors did such a great job. Everyone did a great job. You should definitely check this movie out.